top of the food chain, rock with the rat tail, king sanitation, jump another trap now, murderous assassins, harassment of blackmail, how you think I made it in the game? Yo guys, what is going on? Tim Pursuit, and in today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about how you can make a clean gaming logo in Photoshop in just a few easy simple steps. Now, I've already done this uh, video like, before, but I'm going to try and make it better and improved and easier to understand. And also, there'll be also different tips you guys can pick up on, which will be good. So, before we get started, can we hit 150 likes on this video, guys? It would really mean a lot. And with that all being said, let's get into the video. So, guys, the first thing you guys will want to do when you go into Photoshop is make a 500 by 500 document like so uh, press OK and what we're gonna do first is just add a new layer and usually you guys will have a transparent background but sometimes it will fill in with white I'm just gonna delete that layer and I'm gonna make it like a dark like black color just a bit before something like this and then press all backspace to fill it in so first we're gonna make like a letter logo so we, you can choose whichever ever one you want um, instead of drawing it out and bringing it into Photoshop we're just gonna use the like fonts and stuff and manipulate them ourselves so you can use whatever le uh, letter you guys want uh, I think I'm gonna use T today um, and then we're gonna make it like a white color something like this would look good and then you can make it bigger and you can also choose whatever font you guys want I'm just gonna go through a couple see which one I like um, but yeah you're just gonna be manipulating the text it's gonna be really easy to do so yeah um, I'm just gonna see which one looks best I think I'm just gonna go with this to be honest something simple so we can do whatever we want with it so make it as big as possible and then once you are ready, rasterize it, so right click rasterize. So when you first get the letter, you might not, not what, uh, you might not know what to do. So you can look on the internet at other like letters um, and how they've been made and stuff like that. So it's totally up to you guys, but what we're gonna do first, I'm just gonna I'm think I'm gonna do something like this. Uh, I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. Like so. Basically, we're just going to be using transforming tools and also the pen tool as well. So, what I'm going to do now, um, this is a really cool feature. If you hold down control, uh, yeah, control and click at the top, you can move it side to side, which is also pretty cool as well. Like so. Um, maybe if you make it a bit slanted, that'll look cool. So that looks pretty cool so far. And then when you press Ctrl T and right click, you've got loads of different ones, scale, rotate, all this type of stuff. So you could even rotate it like that. And that might look cool as well. Um, and then we'll see what else we can do. So this warp, but that's, that, you, I don't think you'd really use that for this type of logo. Uh, perspective is also good if you hold down shift and you click in the corner, you can move it so it's moving out or downwards. It's totally up to you guys. Maybe a bit down. I'm just, I'm just showing you guys examples of what you can do. So you might like the way that looks. So from the start, I'll just show you guys that is what it looks like. So that's what it looks like now. As you can see, it's changed quite a lot. It looks a lot better than before. So what we're going to do now is use the pen tool to make it different. So you can do whatever you want, like always. But I think I'm going to do something like this. So I'm just going to make a little uh, cut at the side. But yeah, guys, once we've done this, I'm just, we'll also be doing the background for the profile picture. So yeah, um, and now we've done that, maybe what we want to do is the same thing at the other side. So we'll just click right in the corner and a bit down here. Join it up, make selection and delete. So that looks pretty cool as well. Um, and then we could also just finish it off. We could do one at the bottom as well. Uh, it's totally up to you guys. You don't have to do this. It depends what letter you're working with, really. There's loads of stuff you can do with different types of letters. Uh, I think I'm going to make it a bit more steep. So maybe something like this. See what looks best. To be honest, it looks all right like it is. So that looks pretty cool. And then once you've done that, you can even go even further and do some more editing and stuff. I might make it a bit longer and a bit thinner. And also guys, even if uh, you don't like the way it looks at the moment, you can edit it as well. So for me, I don't like how thick the top is, so you can actually delete that. So I'm just going to join it up, make selection, delete. So, whoops. 
uh, control D, so that looks pretty cool as well. Um, I'm just gonna do this. And then I'll join that up as well. So it's just editing the text to make it how you guys want it. So I quite like the way that looks, it looks pretty nice. Um, you can go, you can do more stuff to it if you want, but it's just a simple logo, nothing much really to it. So what we're going to do now is actually make the whole profile picture itself. So first we're going to add some layer styles to it. In fact, no, we'll add the background so you guys can get like a COD background or whatever you want. I'm going to open my GFX pack like always because it's got stuff in there. So I'm just going to open it up. If you guys don't have it, make sure you download it in the 4K GFX pack. And... Uh, we'll just choose a background um, see which one looks best. So I might just use this one and put it behind it. And then I'll change it to luminosity. So that looks cool. So now, once you've done that, I'm just going to make it bring down the opacity. And you can add some CCs here. So we're just going to do that. I'm just going to mess around with it. You guys can do whatever you want. I'm just going to try and make it dark, but I'm going to make it dark but pop out at the same time. So make a little S shape. Also, bring up exposure and offset a bit. And also bring up the gamma correction. So that's looking pretty nice. So once you've done that, you can also add a gradient map or a photo filter to change the color of it. But what I'm going to do first is add like a little color to it so something like this and then change its color dodge like so bring down the opacity um, and maybe if we go to white um, and change it to overlay at the bottom and we can also add one at the top and change that down so once you've done that like I said you can you could bring them all below the color corrections we've just done like so and then we can add a gradient map but in my pack I do have some color corrections so I'm just gonna use that to be honest uh, we'll see how it looks so that one looks nice we can bring that in and as you can see it darkens everything but it gives it a cool little glow at the same time so that looks really nice uh, and what we're gonna do now is add some colors around the outside like so maybe if you change that to color dodge bring down the opacity so that looks nice maybe if you add white to it at the top as well something like this and then bring down the opacity so that looks nice <clears throat> so what we can do now is actually add some uh, like a um, layer styles to the text I mean the logo so maybe if we make it a grayish one so about 20%, add an inner glow to it as well, and a satin, and we'll just mess around with the stuff here. And I'll just change that to overlay, so that looks cool. Um, you guys can add some effects to it if you want, like some grunges, it's totally up to you. I'm just going to show you guys what it might look like, so if you get a grunge, any random one will do. Um, now white won't actually work, but if you press Control U and bring down it, make it all black and dark, then go to Create Clipping Mask, um, and make sure it's rasterized the text, and then we can just bring down the size a bit. Something like that. It's totally up to you guys what you do. I think I'm just gonna bring down the opacity instead. So something like that, and then group it together. And the final thing you guys can do is duplicate it and then the one underneath, move it down a bit and then press Ctrl U. In fact, I grouped, uh, so bring it down a bit and then press Ctrl U, make it darker, like so, maybe a bit more. So that looks pretty cool, then you can group that together, add a new layer and also since it's blue I'm just going to add a little spot over here and maybe a smaller one down here and change that to color dodge and then we can just bring down the opacity so that looks pretty cool uh, you guys can do some more stuff to it if you want uh, you could also if you want rub away certain parts to make it look like it's faded like so
so but that's that's about it for the tutorial you can also add some more cc's i hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure you smash the like button keep up the sick support guys on the channel we're getting really really close to 5k we've gained 400 almost 400 subs in only a few days which is insane guys so keep up the sick support uh, comment down below what you want to see in my next video and other than that i hope you guys have a sick day today guys and yeah i'll see you guys later you want to know my name to go and tell us you want to know my gang suicide squad